What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go. So now that the game is finally out, we also have the Pokemon Go update as of Wednesday around, uh, I'd say it was around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The update happened. And in order to connect the two, it's really quite simple. One, we're gonna go to the options screen here and let's go. And you're gonna go to the Pokemon Go settings. It says, would you like to pair your game with a Pokemon Go account to communicate with it? In Pokemon Go, you're going to go into the settings tab and you're gonna scroll down to where it says Nintendo Switch. And then you're gonna have an option to pair. Here, you're gonna choose yes, and the two are gonna find each other, and you're good to go. From here, you need to progress in the story to the point that you get to Fuchsia City, and you can go to the Go Park. You talk to this gentleman over here. Welcome to the Bo Go Park Complex. What'd you like to do? Let's bring some Pokemans. You get to choose which park you want them to bring it to, and it says you can transfer 50 Pokemon to each individual park. Let's start communication. In Pokemon Go, you need to go into your Pokemon, and then you're going to be able to choose what you want, and you'll notice that there's a new Nintendo Switch icon in the top right corner. Click the Switch icon, you're going to notice that some Pokemon are ineligible. Those Pokemon are the ones that you favored it, like this Bulbasaur. If I unfavored it, then I can transfer it. But anything that you previously selected as a favorite will be not able to be transferred. I recommend whatever Pokemon you're really using on your team a lot to not transfer them over for your raids and everything else like that. Now also is a pretty great time for you to make note of the Pokemon that you still need in your Pokedex for you to transfer over. Like, uh, mm, definitely want to transfer over that shiny Dragonite there. Let's do one of each of the legendaries, the fossils. Let's throw some Alolans in there. You get a prompt saying, hey, if you transfer them over, they're gonna be gone forever. Are you sure you wanna do that? Choose yes. And then, let's head on over to the Switch. Austin Job Plays' account has been found. Would you like to receive a Pokemon? Yes, communicating 80%, 100% done. That was not edited, that was just very fast. On my phone, it says Pokemon sent. From here, you get your option on what you wanna do, or you could go back to the park. You're then gonna notice something very interesting on your phone. You've received a mystery box. And, if you go ahead and use your mystery box, Meltans begin to appear. And this start, and this happens for a half hour. So, you can go and for a half hour, it kinda acts like a, um, like a, like an incense. In that when you walk around, Meltan spawn near you, which is dope. You can go ahead, get yourself a few Meltan. One should appear very shortly. Do keep in mind, they're really, really tiny boys. A little bit hard to see. But once you have some melted, wow, they are so small on this screen. 0.2 meters tall, that's six inches. It's half a foot tall. Let's go ahead and transfer over some Meltans into Pokemon Go. Mm, let's just do one for right now. Yes, transfer over Meltan. Searching for Nintendo Switch, start communication, let's go. No pun intended. On the phone side of things, you're gonna get also a bonus, usually 100 experience. And then after your box runs out, it's gonna say that you have seven days left to access the mystery box. So if you go into your items and scroll down, you'll see that the mystery box is still there. However, it can only be activated once every seven days. So you need to wait seven more real life days in order to activate the mystery box again, which is kind of whack. In the meantime, let's go take a look at Meltan. Let's head inside of a park. Okay, and here we have all my Pokemon. Here's Articuno. Here's my shiny Raichu, my shiny Venusaur, my Alolan Pokemon, my Alakazam. Really need this Meltan. And you can catch it or move it. If you move it, you can move it to a different box or you can catch it. If you catch a Pokemon in a Go Park, the Pokemon's information will be changed from when it was in Go Park. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, whatever. So boom, Meltan has appeared in a Go Park. Wow, that is a pretty high uh, catch circle around him. Let's use a good berry and an Ultra Ball. 
It's still red. Okay. He is not going to be easy to catch. Come on. Yes. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Milton's data has been added to the Pokedex. It melts particles of iron and other metals found in the subsoil, so it can absorb them into its body of molten steel. The Hex Nut Pokemon. And yeah, now he's in our inventory. Well, yeah, this method of taking your Pokemon from Go into Let's Go helps you complete your Pokedex. Also helps you clear up your uh, your inventory in game, so makes a lot of sense there. Just like that, you can transfer over your Pokemon from Go into Let's Go. There we go. There's Meltan. He's so adorable. I want him to follow me around. Is he extremely small? I bet he's extremely small. Wow, he is so very tiny. He's like. His eye is like at the level of my knee. And by I mean, I mean the middle of the hex nut. <laughs> so guys, that's gonna be wrapping up this video on how to get your Pokemon from Go into Let's Go. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.